So when we talk about HRT, we talk about really hormone replacement therapy, balancing all the hormones to make sure everything is right. And when you do something like that, um, you're going to get optimal results with minimal to no side effects. If you just replace testosterone for a majority of guys out there, they're going to have problems. And the problems they're going to have is their estrogen is going to run high, right? And at that point, when it runs high, then you're going to get the real negative side effects you do not want to deal with when you're on testosterone. One, water retention. Water retention is not going to make you look good. So instead of nice, defined muscle tone, right, you're talking about round looking, soft. You don't want to look like that. Nobody wants to look like that. And, you know, for the people out there that really want to, like, see people in public, because I can tell nowadays, it's like, who's on, who's off, what they're taking as far as are they on an estrogen block or not. Usually it's the water retention. The face is very round. Um, they call it like, you know, tomato head, juice head. That's where it comes from. And uh, at that point, like, you know, their body doesn't look as tight as it should. It looks like it has high estrogen and water retention. So, um, you know, that's one thing. Now, with water retention comes other things. So water retention can increase blood pressure. And blood pressure being raised is going to cause a whole bunch of other negative side effects. So that's just a water retention, one negative side effect from high estrogen. Two, irritability and sensitivity. So becoming more short-fused. That roid rage really doesn't come from testosterone. It comes from high estrogen levels usually. And at that point, it's just like a female kind of being on her period, uh, that monthly thing. And at that point, you know, being short, being irritable, and not being yourself. Um, the other thing is is that it could cause gynecomastia. So at that point, when high estrogen levels are there, that grows tissue. That's why you don't just want to completely take out estrogen either. You need to have a harmonic balance with the hormones. So with that, you want to make sure that you know you have this dialed in and not going too high. So usually an aromatized inhibitor goes along with testosterone. And then you want to talk about gonadal support, which we're talking about like making sure the testicles are staying where they need to be aesthetically, not shrinking, not becoming tight and uncomfortable to you and you not producing, you know, the, the semen production you should, right? Um, you know, and cutting off natural testosterone. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you start dealing with when you start inserting testosterone in the body.